Negative Space by Ani Jika, translated from the Albanian by Lulieta Lushanaku. With a lesser known original language, the more precious the gift of translation, Lulieta Lushanaku's Negative Space offers a rare glimpse into contemporary Albanian poetry. Effortlessly and with crisp precision, Ani Jika, herself a poet, has rendered into English not only the poems in Negative Space, but also the eerie ambience which resonates throughout the book, the deep sense of impermanence that is one of the many consequences of growing up under severe political oppression. Negative space is always fertile. Opening trauma's door, we are met by a tender and intelligent voice with stories illuminating existence in a shared humanity, thus restoring dignity. In a world fractured by terror and violence, Lushanaku's poetry is infinitely exciting, soothing us, its citizens. Now we are going to read some parts of, uh, a few parts of a long poem called Water and Carbon, which more than a poem about communist dictatorship in Albania, it's a poem about uh, human dignity and moral existence. Part 3. Trupit lën e balt, trupit e trapton. Trupi është thjesht karbon dhe uj. Isha 17 bjeqë kur një nëqeli, kur një mëngjes në nëqeli, pas një natë i kvapije me 21 gradë temperatur, bronko pneumoni, u gëdhima në mes të pelgu tim të urinës. Nuk isha më as burë dhe as fmi. Pas taj në kampin e punës në kënet, pas të ologun të mblit të duqet e kalburat cigares, për një të fithur të vetëm, apo sa për të marë erë. Por kur pash ish profesorin në Sorbonës të rëmon të fshetas në plera për një lëkur shalqini të cilën e fshiu pas pantalonave dhe i gëltit i paj për typur, isha dëshmitar i shdukjes së pesmi vjetëve qytetrim brenda një minutit vetëm. Naturisht, është gjithmon tha i dëshmitarit, i syrit gabuar në vendin e gabuar, pa dëshmitar, zëtë kisha skrematur jume, dhe nga hunët e historis do dilë të vetë shtëm i bardhë. Tri, your body throws you under the bus, your body betrays you, your body is simply water and carbon. I was 17 one morning in my prison cell when after a night of delirium running 107 degree fever caused by bronchopneumonia, I woke up drenched in my own urine I was neither a child nor a man anymore. In the labor camp, out in the marsh, I saw the theologian gathering rotten bits of cigarettes, smelling the butts, trying to take a single drag. But when I saw the former Sorbonne professor secretly digging through the trash and pick up a piece of watermelon rind, which he then wiped on his pants and swallowed whole without chewing, I knew I witnessed 5,000 years of civilization extinguished in one moment. Of course, it's always the fault of the witness, the wrong eyes at the wrong place. Without a witness, we wouldn't even have crematoriums and only white fumes would leak out of history's nostrils. Okay. So I, I will continue to read a few more pieces from this poem in English. Um, and I also just wanted to say that it's uh, great honor to be here um, and like uh, Raymond said that it's a privilege to be heard. Um, I had to learn English and uh, it was difficult for me to express myself in writing but I have found that I was able to in this language more so in, than in my mother tongue and now I feel like Lolita has given me another chance to to be heard in, in English in a different way by translating her deeply moving work. Um, so I'll, I'll just read a few more parts. Four, he had such dignity, the old man who hung himself, rejected here on earth and now also in heaven. His bare feet like a saint's, his body a frozen planet, revolving one last time around itself. His, dead, his head drooped to one side as if he were refusing to witness even his own death. 
But it didn't end here. They plucked out his gold teeth, as if removing three generations of his history, declassed, disgraced, even among the dead. How can a toothless man protect himself at the last judgment? How could he formulate his arguments? The dead would laugh. Angels would shake their heads. And so he too would be forgotten, simply water and carbon like everyone else. The living went back to work, eyes cast down as if at their own funeral. The whips against their joints and back gave them no time to think much. You can't be last in line. This was the goal, morning tonight. But where was our country at that moment? Where was Caesar? <laughs>